takes off. Oh, sh oh, sh oh, oh no. Whirly ball is an infrared LED flying ball. And that's today's review. But I'm also gonna throw in rocket copters while I'm at it because it's also an LED flying toy. So Whirly ball and rocket copters are my review today as frequent reviews Maui week continues. So next up on my agenda here in Maui, I'm gonna do Whirly ball, which has just become available in stores. I'm also gonna compare that to rocket copters, which has been around for a while, but they're both flying light up toys so i figured it'd be kind of fun to see how they both work side by side so first up let's try some whirly ball to start whirly ball there's a little tiny switch right there can you see that all you do is turn that on you slide it over lights up and it takes off oh sh did you see that i mean how, how bad a timing could that have been Okay, <laughs> the wind's blowing this way, that's why it's doing that. Let's try it again. <laughs> it's not really working the way I thought it. In indoors, it works a lot differently. It doesn't work too well even when there's a slight, this is not a, much of a breeze, but it's not working too well in this breeze because it keeps going over there. I'll show you indoors how much differently it works in this. It's gonna go over that way, watch. Might be better indoors if there's, if there's a breeze. Okay. Let's crack open these rocket copters. So with rocket copters, you got these launchers, which is like a little cheap slingshot. And you got six of these. Fold here, fold here, fold here. Fold here. Turn the LED light on by pressing the button. LED light is on. We'll try these at night too. Well, that didn't go too high. Let's try a little higher. It does make a brief sound. I don't know if you're supposed to do this in the rain, but oh well, I'm doing the rain anyways. I don't know how much I can pull this down, but... Oh! Okay. Whirly Ball has two propellers, and it's activated by the switch in the bottom here. And there's an infrared sensor that can tell how close it is to your hand. So as soon as it gets close, it flies back up. The battery in here is not replaceable, but it is rechargeable via USB port. Rocket Copters is another one that has an LED light. Now the batteries on here are not replaceable or rechargeable. So once they're out, they won't light up anymore. As you can see, this particular light is still on and it's still lit up. So it does provide several hours of LED light. While rocket copters are launched manually, the Whirly Ball flies on its own. Both of these toys cost me about $10 each. All right, so if you use Whirly Ball inside, it's a lot better experience, so watch this. Whoa. See, it can, it can detect when there's something underneath it. And I've noticed that the stronger the battery charge, the more sensitive it is. Whoa. See, when, when the battery isn't fully charged, it's, it'll almost touch your hand, but when the more the battery's charged, the further away it stays. Let's try that again. Using my head. Ah, see when it, when it hits something, it detects that and shuts off and it blinks like that. All you do is turn it off, turn it back on, and you're ready to go.
It's actually hard to grab. I think the battery lasts about about eight minutes before you have to recharge it again. It takes about uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes to recharge it. And I can't get to it. Oh, it's chaos. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard to catch it when it's flying around like that. So that's actually kind of makes it fun. It is pretty cool. But it's hard to grab it when it's fully charged. <laughs> ah, there it goes. <laughs> I think it's pretty fun. It's actually, it keeps me entertained. Probably more than it should, but so far I like it. Oh, the battery's dying. The battery's dying. Never mind, I gotta charge it. Next up, I'm gonna try this in this empty field right here. Uh, there's not as much wind right now, so I wanna see how high I can make it go. That was pretty good. <laughs> Worked pretty well. We're out here in the absolute boonies. There's nothing as far as you can see. It's pitch black. So I'm gonna shoot off some of these rocket copters and see how they look out here. I got my atomic beam headlight to help us see, but right now it's going off. We'll see how it goes. Actually, maybe we'll leave it back on. All right. Oh, come on. Well, oh, that was a bust. Kind of cool. I'll try to pull it further. I'm afraid I'm going to break this, but let me see. I'll pull it back even further. I'm pulling it really far back. Let's try the uh, whirly ball. Now there's no wind. It's pitch black out here. I couldn't see where I was going. Oh no! Ow. Ah. Wow. He gets away from you. <laughs> I'm gonna try a few more rocket copters now. But that was way up there. That was good. I'm gonna do it past you, okay? Uh, okay. Oh, I caught it. How cool is that? That's good. That was good. There you go. That was definitely one of the better ones. That was one of the worst ones. Whoa. There you go. There's definitely something of a technique to doing this properly because 
the more I do it, the more I'm able to launch it really high in the air. Sometimes it just kind of flops around, but when I get the right feel for it, I can go quite a ways up there. It's hard to really describe what that technique is, it's just a matter of getting a feel for it. Yeah. Whoa, there you go. If I had to choose, I would take Whirly Ball. This is pretty fun. It's powered on its own, it's rechargeable. Whirly Ball to me is a winner. Rocket copters are not bad. To me, they're just not quite in the same league as Whirly Ball. If you've used either one of these toys, what do you think about it? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White with Frequent Reviews.